Hey guys, how you doing? This is Birdman316. I'm doing this recording on one of my spare phones that I have. The tarantula has been around for a long time, and you notice that I have black props on the back from the Yaizan i8, i8h, whatever that thing is. It's, it's supposed to be that new tarantula with hover hold, or whatever altitude hold. But anyway, um. My good friend DJ Soulforce uh, sent me some black props. And I'm going to return the favor. I'm going to hook him up with something. I'm not going to say anything because he might be watching this video and it'll give away the secrets. So, sorry DJ, you got to wait and see what comes in the mail, man. You're going to like it. Whatever it is, you're going to like it. Okay, here we go. Here's a tarantula. All right. Now, you noticed on the older ones, I noticed that DJ Soulforce had to make a cutout into the uh, the battery lid so the wires can hang out the back. But on this one, you notice that the you get in there closer. You see the uh, battery lead is coming through the front. And let me show you how I do this. This is a lot easier than we'll have to have the wires hang out the back. Oh, that's my JJ one thousand. We're gonna be going flying here soon. That's a little rocket. And we're going to be testing that one there. I got rid of the hover hold. It's totally manual now. And that's the old one right there. But it's still really good. It's an X5. There's no C to it, but there is a camera port. You'll see right here. Let me get right there. You can't really see the pegs, but there are some little pegs in there. You can put a camera on here if you want to. But... You notice know, so it just says X5, there's no C to it. But this here is probably probably the very best trainer. Now I flew my um, FY326 a couple months ago and, and said it was just about as good or maybe better than the X5, but I would, I would more likely say this about a tie. They're both good. Now that right there also being as a good trainer, a nice steady trainer to learn how to fly. It'll also make a good trainer for FPV. Think about it, put a little VTX camera on the roof and it's an easy steady flyer that way. If you get into trouble, you can let go of the sticks and it'll just sit there. Then you can, uh, if you want to, you can raise the goggles up and look and find your bird and everything for it, for it crashes, you know. Okay, let's get on with this battery here on this tarantula. This is how I do it. I plug the battery in, flip the bird over, put it on her feet, and the lights will be flashing in. It'll be a steady flash ready for the transmitter. Then once that happens, I flip it back over, put the battery in where it's supposed to go, and all the wires go up towards the front here, which is good. But also you have to be really careful because I don't know if I can get in here and show you or not. I'll tell you what, I'll go get my flashlight. I'm going to show you guys. You guys need to see this. Those LEDs for the front lights, those wires are really, really close. So when you put your battery wires in, you need to be really, really careful not to knock those loose. But just be really careful, and they'll go right in there. No need for having wires hanging out the back. No need to do extra this, that, and the other. It'll be all good. It'll be all good. You know, as I did the landing gear, the, I mean, the prop guard the trick, I cut them off and I straightened it up the best I could. They've been cut off. And yet you have to have these covers so your LEDs will be uh, visible. And yes, this thing does have ball bearings in the shafts. And believe it or not, the ball bearings from the Dromeda Ominous, the Vista, the Latrax Alias, they will all work. So you don't have to spend a whole heap of money on just a certain ball bearing to go in those shafts <clears throat> and wait forever. Let's go ahead and do your homework and look it up for Dromeda Ominous and they'll work, no problem. And plus that'll help your motors keep them from uh, 
straining so much to spin those props on those old bushings. But keep the bushings in case you ever lose a bearing or something. Yeah, that's gonna be neat. This one's still new. Hadn't really been broken all that much. I'm gonna be uh, flying, or I got two battery packs I'm gonna fly around today at the field. But that'll be in a revisit video. This is just a, um, a kind of like a tutorial on how to install a battery on a newer style. And be real careful of those LEDs, like I told you. Because those wires. You can barely see it. Probably not. Those LED wires are really close to where you're going to be putting those stuff in those battery wires. So just be really careful, guys. Don't want to unplug anything that we ain't supposed to unplug. Okay, now next time you hear from me, we'll be out in the field. This is Birdman316. Sayonara. Hello, my friends. I'm on my cell phone again. This is the battery door for the tarantula. If you can look at it very closely there, I'll try to get as close as I can to it in the light. Now this thing used to have these little tabs that stuck up. I guess it prevented the stock battery from rattling around too much, I guess. But if you're going to put an aftermarket battery in there, you can forget about it because the door's not going to shut. Let me show you why. The battery on the left is a stock battery. The battery on the right, you can barely see it. But the battery on the right is the aftermarket battery and the left battery is the stock battery. See how much fatter and see how much taller that right battery is. So, I have three of the aftermarket batteries. I only have one of the stock batteries. So, if I want to put the stock battery back in there, that's not a problem because I can get a piece of foam like this and just use one section of it. Just cut it the size for the battery, just stuff it in there on top of the battery and my rattling problems are over with with the stock battery. But like I said, I have, here's another one right here. This is not a stock one, this is the aftermarket. So I've got three, I got them labeled. I try to label them. The milliamp is 1200 and that's battery pack number four. And this one here is the 1200, number two. And number three is in the other room there. This is the original battery. I got it labeled 1200 and one. So, I just figured I'd share that short video with you in case you have a problem with yours. Just get the wire cutters and uh, just cut those little bitty tabs off. There's some kind of little goofy little tabs in there. It's supposed to be uh, designed to keep that battery from rattling around. But if you go with aftermarket batteries, you're going to have problems because your door's not going to shut. If you keep forcing it and pushing it, you're going to break these um, these tabs right here. All these tabs. You're going to break them off. Then you're going to be mad at yourself. Then you're going to say, stupid battery got in the way. My door wasn't shut. Oh, I can't believe it. So just get your wire cutters and get rid of those little tabs. And if you want to run your stock battery, just put the piece of foam in there. Not a problem. I got the tarantula over here. This is why I don't to see her. Now I'm getting ready to go out on a night flight here in a little bit. There's a good old X5. Not the scene, but the old X5. Here's a tarantula right here. Got the black props on the back. Why right up front? Because you gotta have them different. Well, I do. Because I like it for orientation. Here's number three right here. So I got it labeled 1200. Number 1200 milliamps in pack number three. I don't have a pull tab on here because it doesn't need one because it doesn't slide out. It, sli it uh, pops out from under the bird and these wires go up in the front of the nose so when you put those wires in there be really careful because uh, you can knock something loose like your LEDs. Now here's an X5C, an old school X5C. It's got the camera on there. And I did make the modification. I did the uh, Velcro trick on the back of the camera. So that baby is just about straight. It might be down just a teeny tiny bit, but mostly it's straight. But, but anyway, guys, I hope you like this short video. And I'm going to make me some supper because I'm hungry. This is Birdman316. 
Sayonara.